Hey guys, this is Peter, and today I've got something really exciting to show you. It's a new gateway from a company called Ecom, and it supports 5G home internet from companies including T-Mobile. Now, if you've been watching my channel, you know that for the past 10 months, I've been running T-Mobile home internet, and I've been delighted with it. The service, that is. 50 bucks a month for unlimited speed and unlimited bandwidth has been phenomenal. But it wasn't really easy to get uh, going all the way. This little piece of hardware that they send you is called a gateway, and that's what we're going to be replacing. You know, I've done a ton of videos on this, the problems, the workarounds. I've taken the thing apart. I've added antennas to it. Uh, I've changed the packet sizes. I went ahead and relieved it of its duty of as an access point because it was getting too hot. And I've worked with it the best that I could, but there's been some things that I couldn't solve. Guess what? This one solves it and it goes beyond. Now, when you write a marketing document, a marketing requirements document, it's called an MRD, it's for what you want a product to be. And if I were to write an MRD for T-Mobile's next gateway, it'd be really similar to this. What this gateway does is, well, it replaces the one that T-Mobile gave you. Uh, it does some things that T-Mobile didn't do. One of them is band locking, and that is the ability to take the one of the bands in this in the spectrum for, for cellular and lock to that one specifically. They all have different capabilities. They have different bandwidth. They're different frequencies. So you don't want to just pick the uh, based on signal strength. You know, there could be competing strengths. They could have good strength on two of them, but one of them could be, well, four times faster than the other one. That's exactly what happens with N41 and N71, both in T-Mobile Spectrum. When it switches over to N71, my speeds drop to a quarter. And well, that's just not ideal. This one supports both N41 and N71, but it also supports all the new bands, the mid bands, the C bands that have come out recently. We're talking N2, 5, 7, 12, 25, 30, 66, and 78. I'm really excited to see which ones light up and what it can do. This is the modem as, well, let me show you the box. I hate doing unboxing because it's noisy and people have pulled things apart. But let me show you what's inside. This is the gateway. A gateway is a combination modem and access point. So it does both of those. In fact, it has lights on here for, for Wi-Fi, 5G, 4G, uh, like I said, cellular, 5G, 4G, Wi-Fi, and power. Cool buttons. Check this out on the back. You're going to love this. First port's going to blow your mind. So right underneath the power button is a phone outlet. So it supports full uh, voice over LTE. If we get that to work, that would be cool. So that means you can actually plug in a phone and these all have numbers to assigned to them. You can actually make a call out. What I'm looking for is to support the fax machine that's in my three in one printer. That would be ideal. It'd also be interesting. And in an emergency situation, if you needed to make a phone call, you could. Uh, We'll give that a shot for sure. Uh, these are the other features on there. It does have a SIM port on the bottom. It also lists a Type-C port. However, I believe that in the documentation that I've seen is for testing. So this, we'll, we'll, we'll wait on that. But this looks like it solves a lot of the issues that I've had. Again, band locking, more bands. This has 10 antennas inside. It has six cellular antennas and four Wi-Fi antennas. I can't wait to try that out. Gets rid of the NAT issue. NAT is what kept us, network address translation or double NAT, kept us from porting out. So if you had a Tableau TV uh, tuner like I do, you can watch it wherever you are because it'll port out. If you have a, um, a Plex server like I have, I can watch my movies and share them with the world outside my home because, uh, well, I can serve them out. See, now that I have really good speed, uh, I get 900 megabits down and over 140 up. Now I can do all sorts of things. I could serve movies out. That would be great. Share them with my daughters or my kids when they're away at school. That would be fantastic. Does support Wi-Fi uh, Wi-Fi 6, and that is 802.11 802.11ax. Uh, it is 2 gigahertz Wi-Fi as well as 5 gigahertz. It's backwards compatible. A, B, G, and N. All of those things. So I'm really excited to try this out. Cool little box. Should fix all the problems that I'm having with T-Mobile. And yeah, go ahead. I've done a ton of videos on this. If you're new to my channel, click subscribe. Why? Because, oh, and hit the notification button as well. Because as soon as I get a coupon code for this, I've already asked for one, I'm going to publish it online and we can all 
go to Amazon and find it if you're looking for it, because this should solve a lot of the issues. I'm hoping it solves uh, the, the, the NAT issue for sure. I also want to be able to uh, hopefully get even more speed. I want to try and get gigabit speed. First video I'm going to do on this, I'm going to test it exactly the way it came out of the box. And then, of course, I'm going to do another video, take it apart and look for some antennas that I can hook to and bring it out to my professional proxy cast antennas that really doubled my scores. So I have videos on all of that. They're right down here. Here's the external antenna one. Here's my initial review. Uh, hey, thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Talk to you soon.